Hey there folks, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to replace the brushes on the electric motor of this HyperTuff half inch hammer drill. And as you can see it is the plug-in hammer drill. So to gain access to the inside, we're going to flip it over and remove all of these screws that you see here on the other side. And they are Phillips head screws. So we're going to go ahead and start the process. Alright, so once you have all those screws loosened, as I said, this will simply pop up. And now you have access to your internals. So your two brushes are right here. We're just going to zoom you in so you can see better how we do the process. Alright, so here's your two brushes right here. Now what happens over time and use of the drill, the brushes wear down and they don't make as much contact with your electric motor here, which may cause the drill to stop. So when we go to replace them, you're just going to take your plastic housing and just be careful, put your thumb on the end of it here. I'm gonna show you there's a plastic piece. You don't want to lose that, it might spring out. So carefully lift your housing out. And right here is that plastic pop it out, the wire pops out with it. Then you take your old brush. These are fairly new because I haven't actually used this drill. I'm just showing you the process. So take your brush out. When you get your new brush, place it into your housing. Same way that you removed it. Push it all the way through to the other side. Put your wire in. You'll notice there's a tab on the one side that faces the wire. Then you're going to take your plastic cap here and push that in over top. And then I like to push the brush down on the motor and that makes it a little easier to push it down in. And same thing with the other side. This one's a little trickier because of the trigger location, but you do it the exact same way. Pop it off, plastic comes off, brush comes out new brush goes in wire goes over top on the contact surface plastic goes back on and same thing push it back into place and then you're go gonna go ahead and start putting it back together all right so now you're just going to take your plastic case line it up with all your triggers here and slide it right into place. Everything will click nice and easy. And you put all your screws back and screw them down. All right, and that's all there is to it. And you just plug it in, give it a test and make sure everything's working. Other than that, you're good to go. Hopefully this was helpful. And as always, please don't forget to like and subscribe.